What's, What's good, good y'all? It's, it's the Duma Shacks React, react and, and we're back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. We in Memphis with it. Now, seniors. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome hello. To our seniors. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hello. Thank you so much. Oh, we get a hug. Yeah, yeah well, we're good. Not really used to such a warm welcome in the no, UK. To definitely be not. But it's a nice breath. Well, you won't find that welcome probably nowhere, not only in the UK and America either. Oh, really? Okay, okay. You know, but uh, you're part of the family now. So. Oh, that was so. the easiest adoption process. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this is the spot for the best soul food in Memphis. No, no, you have that confused. Okay. Let's start back over. Okay. Oh, you said Memphis. Uh-huh. I say Tennessee. Oh, okay. I say the United States. Uh-uh, them colors is telling. It's giving. What you thinking? The colors and the attitude and the personality is very telling. If, if, if I didn't... Us. Yeah, yeah, if mm -hmm. I didn't know better, I would have thought she worked in a restaurant in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And that's just because of the colors and how she's how she vibing with them. Like, mm -hmm. she on point straight forward with it. Remind me of a, our auntie or something. She know? welcomed the men, say you've part of the family. She gave them, you know, them big old hugs that we yes, offer. Yes. So. She looked like she one of us. Mm -hmm. Just a transplant mm -hmm. in Memphis. <laughs> uh, this is the spot for the best soul food in Memphis. No, no, you have that confused. Okay. Let's start back over. Okay. You said Memphis. Uh -huh. I say Tennessee. Oh, okay. I say the United States. Oh. I say the world. Okay. Because I'm the only one got love, boo. Ain't nobody else got no love but else. Okay. Okay. The best soul food in the world. Uh, like I say, we cook with love. Alcinia be in business 27 years. Alcinia is my mother. I I lost my only child, so I wear these on everything I interview. So I took this restaurant. I did not cook growing up. You know, my mother, Elsina, trained me by coming to Memphis. She could call me and say it should be this color by now, it should be that color by now. Okay. I mean, this is nothing but God. That's okay. the only person I can give credit. Thank you so much for having us. Yes. Yeah, We're so super excited. My soul and stomach. Oh, well, baby, I feed your heart. Yeah. Your head. Okay. Then, okay. baby, I definitely got your stomach, so I ain't okay. worried about that one. I got you. Mm. I got you. So, yeah. That was an extremely Love warm welcome. Oh. And not just because it's 37 degrees outside. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. What's this? This is getaway. Getaway. Pause. Whoa. Three different Kool-Aids and it's wild. It's wild. It's wild. It's wild. It's wild. It's Sugar. Okay. Okay. That's getaway. Oh, yeah. Sexy window. Gee, to be honest, I really need a bit of sugar right now, so I'm ready. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, oh, that oh, kickback, look at oh, that. Three <laughs> different Kool-Aids combined. Yeah. She wasn't kidding. That's lovely, but it just, it tastes like concentrate. We would yeah. sell that in the UK to be diluted. One part ghetto aid, ten parts water. Bruh. <laughs> hey, y'all is crazy. Wow. Look this at that. This is oh, the double deco that oh, I created. Oh, my gosh. It has two pieces of fish mm. and Texas toast. The tartar sauce, I'm going to bring you some homemade tartar sauce. Fantastic. And I created that. That. And that these are your incredible. fried green tomatoes. Some people fry their tomatoes with meal. We fry them with flour. And this here is the smothered pork chop and the smothered chicken. Should have got one of my smothered, but you got everything. No, can I ask? Oh. Pause, pause. Um, a lot of times when you eat at different restaurants, the tartar sauce is what makes the food. Mm, the they're dish. homemade they're sauce. Homemade. So I really want to see if they're going to make a huge comment on the tartar sauce. I know mm. the fish is going to get his compliments, but the tartar sauce mm -hmm. always get made with a little different... You know, it's like potato salad. Yeah. You know, so. Like, who made the, the tortoise sauce? Yes, I love it. Um, who made the tortoise sauce? This restaurant is reminding me so much of our family. Mm-hmm. Look mm -hmm. at Jolly. Mm-hmm. They always have us wanting to go to Korea. <laughs> <laughs> but, listen, first of all, you go to two different types of soul food restaurants. Come on. One that serves the, with sweet tea mm -hmm. and one that serves with Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah, facts. It's it's the same, but it ain't the same at the same time. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and just her feel. And I ain't never heard nobody say nothing bad about someone's Kool Aid. In a sense. Nah, nah, nah. So they, they really got a taste of our childhood with that Kool Aid. The Kool Aid press. He said it should be diluted. <laughs> <laughs> 
One more thing, I'll see if it would, oh, it's not Alcina, I keep calling you Miss BJ, because you're a baby, you cannot call me by my first name. Oh. T, give me some tartar sauce. Sorry, Miss BJ. Sorry, man. Sorry. Tap on it. Miss BJ. Your ladyship. Miss BJ. I love that. Is your ladyship? Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye
Oh, that's the strongest pickle I think I've ever tasted. That is a fierce pickle. Pickle packs a punch. Yeah, he underestimated it. Pork chop. <laughs> it's fried oh, and then smothered in gravy. And you can see the thickness of this pork chop. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, then the wrist, mm -hmm. man. They be cutting up in the kitchen. Oh. They like it. Mm -hmm. I haven't had That's that in ridiculous. so long. What is that gravy? It's really creamy, right? <laughs> oh, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> I have always told everybody pork chops makes the best gravy. I just yeah. said I don't eat it no more. I, I grew up on it, so yes. I know. I know. The uh, best yeah. gravy. Mm hmm. Yes. I can feel my soul being sued <laughs> big time. Her That's ladyship what it's about. invited us with a yep. warm hug, then promptly yep. adopted us. She said we were part of the family straight away. No sure. wetting. I'd do a background check at least. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, I could have a check in history, but she just, you know. Yeah. She liked your vibe. Well, she liked my vibe. She liked your vibe. How's the mac and cheese? Mm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh, I really like that. It's less intense. What's this? Is this is cabbage. I don't know what it was. This is cabbage. Oh, we haven't tried the cornbread yet. Oh, I thought that was a pancake. No, cornbread. It's delicious because you put it in the gravy. Mm -hmm. You immediately put it in the gravy. I want it with the Now, hold on. Uh, Ali got to realize that the cornbread can really, you know, push us into different dishes. Mm. Maybe not macaroni, but like different dishes. Yeah. But that biscuit he had in the other video, not mm -hmm. too much. No. Not too much. You could eat cornbread with a lot. Yeah. Really like cornbread normally, mm. but I think because it's like fried, it's crispy on the outside. The reason I don't like cornbread is I feel like bite into it, it's just you a kind of mush, you know. People call it corn fritters, that's what I was talking about. Ah. Okay. Oh, I don't know what you put in that gravy, but that gravy is oh, homemade. Everything's, everything's homemade. You can really taste this all just yeah. freshly yeah. cooked. How old are these recipes? Wow. I've seen Mama was born January 13, 1921. Wow, my so, gosh. Okay. Recipes that I use are her recipes and mine. I don't okay. want anybody else to recipe. My, my grandmother, which I'm named after Betty. Mm -hmm. Okay, Betty. So we just used her first name again. He That's just, okay, Randy. No, no, no. no. He's he just. Oh, I'm trying yeah. to snitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You're on a tight ship in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got it. Yeah. Oh, have you ever had yams before? We have. No. No, I don't know. Nice candy yams. Yeah. So these candied yams. Yeah, I think they have tasted yeah, it once. Some people sweet potatoes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like a really dish in the African American community that you have to have every holiday. Mm. Hell yeah. I know they the like that. You can hear every day. Oh my gosh. I could just eat a whole plate of those. It tastes like um, mm. autumn. Oh. You know, but it's yeah. like, like autumn, you like know, fall. Like, they call it fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My yeah. mom always say October potatoes are the mm -hmm. better potatoes. D it's yeah. so soft, but also sweet and all like candy. It really is kind of like a dessert on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah almost. Like it's a side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Although next to the ghetto aid, I mean that. <laughs> you just had to say. Yeah. <laughs> the ghetto aid is very sweet. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. It's very sweet. yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite side so far. Yeah. Yes, favorite. That's my favorite side uh, from the sides. Although the green tomatoes oh, green yeah. were so good. Why don't we eat the tomatoes green? Is it common to eat the green well, tomatoes here? They fry, but, uh, but one time I was out of some, so yeah. I tried the red one. You can try okay. the green ones too, but most of the time it's the green ones. 99. It's so tangy and delicious. But like I say, but when people fry them with meal, they're more grain. We find oh, the black. Oh, and then a lot of restaurants oh. are frozen, but we don't do anything. Like fresh. That. They, Those are made fresh. They taste okay. so fresh and they just don't make a difference. They've yeah. just come out of the fryer, right? Like it tasted yeah, like that. Okay. Easy. Did you put them in the double decker? Yeah. Is that? In the decker. That's what that is. Yeah, that's what. Because it works. It works almost like a pickle yeah, does in a burger. Yeah, yeah. 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 What is soul food? I mean, I know it's this, but mm -hmm. like. Soul food, the history mm -hmm. of soul food is that was when the um, slave master would give uh, the African, uh, their slaves, the food that they thought was not even good. Okay. So that's why you had the chitlins, that's why things that they didn't want. Yeah. So they took something, that, they were so intelligent, they took something that was supposed to be meant for no good right. yeah. and turned it into a delicacy. So, so it's that's why we call it soul, because it's food that was cooked from the soul wow. because it was not good, given to them for good, it was given right. them for bad. Right. And wow. they made something good out of it. The stone that was rejected yeah, becomes exactly. the cornerstone. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and so the creativity to make it taste this good, I mean, clearly the love and care 
that goes into these recipes, you can taste. And that's what they, you know, they get because these are the recipes my mom used. A lot of our soul food places don't taste like this. Yeah. Our home cooking places don't yeah. taste like this. It is that you got to care about your people. You got to care about your customers. And I really yes. do care about my customers. That's why I don't pre-cook anything. Okay. Everything is cooked right then and right there. Yeah. Because I want them to experience, after yeah, I lost my yeah. child, I want them to experience the same thing that I experienced growing up. Right, right. Child. Yeah, definitely. Um, you go in any one house, you wouldn't want their leftovers. At all. Get what I'm saying? It's like everything, anytime you go into someone's house, they definitely cooking it on the spot for you while you're chilling yeah. on the sofa or outside, handling business. The food is going to get cooked in a way that's going to be expressive, loving, mm -hmm. and you're going to get a real fresh, fresh dish. So yes. it's always going to be fresh. She's talk, she talking right. Yes, definitely. When you said that, it made me think about somebody who tried to feed people their leftovers. <gasps> <laughs> No, I'm not gonna bring up the event. But. Sierra, that was that was a, that scarred us. <laughs> it did scar. That scarred us. Cause what? It came out looking like it was finna be a banger. Ooh, but with everybody, I remember said. Mm. Yeah, keep going. Ah, keep going, bro, bruh. bruh. Wow. My mother made everything from scratch. It is such a privilege to get to taste this such family cooking. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Okay. 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 Lady Bam. <laughs> <laughs> She's a star. She, she is. is an absolute she star. Is. Okay. Uh, fried chicken. Okay. Fried chicken. Chunk of meat. Wow. So okay. So this is, is on the bone. Chicken straight off the bone. This might be my favorite thing. It's it battered in this crispy batter and then covered in this southern gravy. I like that they cheers everything. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they like it. They want to move in. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's incredible. It is incredible. That's genuinely, I mean, it's not even really fair to call this fried chicken. It's not fair to label it the same thing as what they're selling in KFC. Like, it's not. It's just not at all. I don't. I don't think you guys are gonna probably hear this often. Um, but here's something that will be said to an individual that's eating someone's food, and it goes like this: Did you chew? Yeah. Did you chew? Did you chew? Went down that Which bag. basically <laughs> means they cleared the plate because it was that good. And oftentimes, you know, it'd be like, dang, did you chew it? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pressure. That's just that's a give right there. I get that. Mm -hmm. I get that one Mmm. Mm, my goodness me. Another cornbread. This cornbread is incredible. So it's interesting how ladyship said soul food is making mm -hmm. something beautiful from mm -hmm. scraps, as mm -hmm. it were. Mm -hmm. Because that's a theme that is repeated all around the world, I think. And we spent a lot of time in Korea. Dishes like Budejige, army-based stew, mm -hmm. was made from the discarded ingredients of military bases Very true. Yeah. after the Korean War. Mm. It's the human spirit to kind of make something good mm. out of something terrible. That is amazing, isn't it? And maybe that's what like, they mean when they say it's made with love. Like, it's like love endures. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, this is the thing, right? When you're comfortable, you don't really need to be that creative. It's like an art, right? Like, a lot of art comes from dark places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, you guys need to try these green... Have you had green tomatoes before? Green tomatoes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Homemade sauce. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a game changer. Like, what, how do we not eat that? Oh, it's good. They, came they yeah. Do you come here often? Yeah, I come here. I come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. we ride around and people eat McDonald's, yeah. Wendy's. Yeah, yeah, there's so much fun. I, like, yeah. I mean, I understand, but I like to come somewhere where I go and take the time, right. yeah. peel the tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, you exactly. Mean, uh, it's cooked right. fresh just for you. Right yeah. We're interaction. That's a good point, because I'm not entirely sure I know what made with love means, <laughs> but I know what made not with love is, and it's McDonald's. There's very little love in that kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Really don't want to be there. Of course. Yeah, so be. Uh, yeah. You don't want to be there. Why do I want to eat there? Yeah. yeah. The spirit right. is in the food. Facts. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. We got a hug today. A hug. I was like, Does you don't, you don't know me. This is how we all be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's the salt. <laughs> no, I mean, hey, that was a good one. Wait a minute. That was how a good he one. described us. He was like, it's the salt. It's the salt. That's why every time we in a video, that's all y'all hear us talk about is our people, our Facts. hospitality, our love for our home. Y'all, we've been in Texas for five years. We still talk about Louisiana, Louisiana, Gosh, in almost hey. every video. 
it's, it's like that. It's like the, that. I love the fact that he said that um, if they don't want to be there, why well, I want to eat there? Exactly. Because we really cook from a loving place, a loving spirit. Yeah. Here's another one that we usually say whenever someone is killing in the kitchen, bro, you put your foot in it. Oh, you yes. know what I'm saying? Basically saying that you stood on business or you mm -hmm. just really put all of you into it. Like, it's that delicious. So yeah, yeah. I like that he put I that remember, out there. Um, when we did our our Thanksgiving video last year mm -hmm. on MG, y'all. Mm -hmm. Filming that video for y'all took a lot, a lot of time, okay? Not only is it Thanksgiving and it's a lot of food, but filming it with y'all and y'all really appreciated that video. And he was like, oh my God, mm -hmm. y'all cooked a lot of food. Mm -hmm. we did, and like we took y'all through the process. And although we told y'all in the video that we were staying home, it was only us and our children. Y'all was like, y'all was cooking like it was a lot of people. <laughs> in spirit, that's, that's, it was a lot of people. It was. It was just us. us and the kids. Yes, that's cooking with love. Yeah. The love yeah. that went in that preparation. Because had anybody knocked on that door, they would have had a plate. Surely would have. In a heartbeat. And another thing, um, if y'all have been around for a while, y'all would know for Thanksgiving, that's when we go feed the homeless. Facts. You know, but Facts. this year, last year we didn't do it. But we back on it this year. We're going to yeah. take y'all with us. Yeah. This and you haven't come here, you're doing life wrong. You're Definitely doing, you're doing life wrong. Like, come in here, just get loving in a, a, a hug. Yeah, you it's like, this place is like therapy. Wow. Okay, now, this is my mother's bread pudding. Bread pudding. I have never seen anybody She's from New Orleans. Bread. She gotta be. That sealed it right the there. That she oh, used to make. This right here is her recipe for pecan, a pecan, pecan, different Ooh. things. Yeah. Different things. I wonder what you're going to say about that one. Pie, too sweet. This is not real sweet. Wow. So last time uh, Josh and Ali offered pecan was to the high schoolers. I remember that video. Okay. And I believe it's like it's, they, they wasn't feeling, I think they said it's it too sweet? sweet. I thought it was sweet potato. Uh, it could have been sweet it potato or pecan. It could have been pecan, babe. It could have been. It I think it was like either it's too sweet or it wasn't used to the crunchy sweetness because mm -hmm. it is so much um, uh, aligned with like pies and stuff when it yeah, comes to sweet yeah. food. So I want to see how they're going to handle this. Oh, bread pudding. Okay. okay. Everything oh, here is her recipe. Fantastic. Thank you, you so much. Us. This is, yeah, yeah I mean, your I... Ladyship. Oh, your la <laughs> your ladyship. <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> the lady of Memphis. Come on, then. Okay. Should we start with the bread pudding? Wow. Oh, it's soft. <laughs> the hand on the chest. <laughs> oh, it's so warming. <laughs> Mm. You know, there's a fine line between mushy and chewy. Yeah, I'll say that. This is the bit in between the Venn diagram, mm -hmm. which is good and really like a hug. Yep. It's hugging my tongue. <laughs> you can't get it out. Mm. But we understand what you mean. It's hugging my teeth, my tongue, my palate, my throat, mm. my yeah. tonsils. That sounds a bit much, but uh, but it's in a good thing way. That down? What's that thing? Yeah, it sounds like you're gonna die, but yeah. in a good way. In a good way. Get the EpiPen. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm allergic to bread no, pudding. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> it's, it's exactly like the first ever time we tried biscuits and gravy, you know, and it just feels like that warm hug that you just want to eat all the time. That's what this, this is. It's a warm hug in a dish. You know what's interesting about that yeah. as well? Taste-wise, it tastes very, very similar to one of the most famous desserts in the world, tipsy cake at Heston Blumenthal's oh, restaurant. Wow. Oh, you're right. A two or three Michelin star restaurant? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at you just name dropping the Michelin no, star restaurant you've no, been to. My point, my that point was your being, favorite dish you ever had yeah, until very recently. Being, it's a home recipe it's a from, home recipe. from 100 years ago. It's not oh. got some Michelin star chef research and developing for, for years exactly. to develop it. It's just home style cooking. This is crazy, man. And I made that pie. Go, go, pecan pie. Go, go, pecan? Because that was my son. That was his favorite dessert. This is his favorite dessert. So okay. That's why he's telling me, go, go, pecan pie. Okay. Okay. It's not too sweet. Oh, that's a good thing. Okay. And you know, I'm sorry, l l your ladyship, this is <laughs> one of my favorite desserts I've ever had in my entire your life. Well. I'm at a lack of what I, 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 I don't have the words to describe that. I like that it's not that sweet because I could eat a whole pie. Okay, yeah. well, this has been a taste <coughs> of real, real southern soul food. I'm consistently amazed, not only by how good it is, but how good it makes you feel. I can't yeah. stop smiling. Ah, this is a memory. 
I'm not going to forget anytime soon. I'll get away. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I'm going to talk about it. All right. This has been Southern Soul Food. We'll see you jolly soon. See you soon, guys. Yeah, this is on stuff, actually, y'all. Yeah. Um, make sure you guys <laughs> go check the channel out. But that was some good eating, obviously. Yeah. They, they ate good on this one. Yeah, what I love about Jolly is that they're not biased on anything. They yeah, try yeah. to go in and eat everyone's food. Everyone, every culture. I feel that. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And I love that they got to, to see a different side of soul food. Because in Louisiana, I know that they went to... Um, they went to New Orleans and we watched those episodes and it was more of Creole food that they tried, like our Louisiana Creole food. But if they would have, you know, ventured off to like Lafayette, they would have gotten the Cajun side of our soul food too. But Correct. this side, they, well, no, their bread pudding is very much Louisiana. Mm. Okay. Very Louisiana. Very cooked from scratch. Okay. Um, they got like the general soul food, the fried tomatoes. Right. The, um... Pork chop. Mm -hmm. You know, they got to see a different side of soul food. So, so I love I'm more concerned to see how do they pick these restaurants. Like, do they advertise a survey where the people tell them where? Or do they do, like, mm. a random pick? I don't know. I you know, know they do research. They got to do some research. <laughs> yeah. um, but obviously, that's probably how they get it. But I would like to know, like, if, do, if they do any other ways of uh, trying mm -hmm. to figure out which way they want to go when it comes to picking restaurants. Yes, yes. This was a good spot. Yeah, y'all let us it's know. Right. All right, but uh, my census is tingling. She got some New Orleans roots in there. Yeah. Or Louisiana, New Orleans, because that bread pudding told on her. Because your people, not your family, but like your area, mm -hmm. y'all don't really know about bread pudding. I mean, you would catch it on a, on a holiday, on a good day. You could catch it on a I good day. I have never eaten bread pudding in that neck of the woods. Huh? Ever. <laughs> well, we got some more Winnack of the Woods to go discover then. Right. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.